What is up, Parmaniacs? Parastasis here. We are back in the world of Boundless, picking up, uh, sort of where we left off. I'm down here in a cave, kind of, uh, looking around, and, uh, you know, normally, from, like, my time in Minecraft, I wouldn't necessarily show off caving, because, uh, Minecraft caving is, is kind of dull and boring, but, uh, Boundless caving is really cool. Uh, it, it feels like you're actually pretty much exploring a cave. Whereas Minecraft is, I mean, you know, you're, you're exploring a cave, but I don't know, it, it never felt immersive to me. But I, I think caving is one of the things that uh, Boundless has done really, really well. Now, what we're working on doing today in uh, today's episode is making an extractor. Um, we're needing, we, we, in the live stream, if you haven't watched that footage yet, I strongly recommend you go and check a look at that. Uh, we had basically made it through kind of the first tier of... Uh, of stuffs, and we were working our way to tier two, or at least what I'm calling tier two, it's where you get the second tech bench, which gives you access to most of the machines. Well, we've hit that tech level now, but we're, we're still missing a few components. So, uh, the good news is I've gotten a large amount of these, uh, what do you call them? Ancient tech remnants, which I'm not quite sure. I know what they're used for, I just, I don't know exactly what they are, and uh, today I found this right here, which is kind of cool. When you smash this, it gives you a bunch of, like, gems, opal, flint, things like that, which is kind of cool. Um, but I don't want to go too deep here because we run the risk of getting lost, but I was going to try and find another copper vein before I bailed, and uh, this, this thing just doesn't light up enough for me to see really well. Which is, which is kind of scary. So I'm gonna see if I can actually find my way back out. We may, if, if, uh, if torches were kind of like Minecraft in the aspect that they weren't insanely expensive, and they're, they're not insanely expensive, they're just expensive. I haven't broken one of these yet. I'm curious what's in it. What do we get? A saltpeter fragment and rock salt. What the hell? Whoa, what the f Oh God. I have no idea what that is but there's something nasty in here with me. Uh, I think it's this way? Yeah. Oh my god, that's the first, like, cave critter I've bumped into. Okay, this is the exit, I believe. Yeah, yeah. here we go, here we go. Whew. But uh, the, these torches, they're just, they're not enough. Uh, they, they do provide some light, but they just, what the hell, man? This looks like some kind of weird it's, it looks ridiculous here, but I, I love the fact that you can see all these little planets here that we will eventually uh, go and visit, which which I think is cool because... Wait, I gotta turn around and I... Yeah, there we go. Each one of these planets, very much like, you know, No Man's Sky, you can travel to on all of them with the warps, and each of these planets is gonna have its own ecosystem, its own, you know, setup. <coughs> Excuse me. So, like, for instance, uh, you see where it says Placid, this one says Rugged, um, that one, I can't see, it's too far away, uh, Rugged, Inhospitable. Each of those names corresponds with a different tier of stuff. So, some of those tiers are pretty nasty, and some of them are pretty uh, laid back. So, we, we have to be kind of careful which ones we're going to explore, but as you get to harder and harder ones, you gain more and more, or access to more and more minerals, which is... Kind of cool. All right, so this is the new workbench that we had just unlocked, and this is what we're aiming for gaining access here to. So we need some stones, and we have everything else. So we're gonna go ahead. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna bring this over here real quick. Is it, yeah. I don't know if I still need this bench. I probably don't. But um, the reason I'm gonna use it is, I'm gonna use it to do, I think, basic materials. And then, because I, I don't think there's a big difference. Like, for instance, right here. Let's see. Can I even do the stones with this? Let's see. Where? There we go. See, these are all decorative. Uh, machined iron. I don't see, like, just a basic stone block or anything like that. So I, I think, yeah, we're going to end up needing them both. I may have just not been patient enough to find it, but that's fine, too. So we're gonna queue this up real quick, let it do its thing. Come over here and queue some of this up. There we go. And that's gonna run. Um, I think I may have a few 
That's sedimentary rock. Now, for those guys who maybe missed, um, yeah, that's that's rocks, that's stones. I think this will work right here. For those of you guys who missed the first episode, these are kind of like Jabra. I want to say Jabra drawers. Is it? Is it Jabra? Just another barrels. Jabra. Thought it was just another barrels mod, but that's not right. So, I don't know. There's a barrels mod, a drawers mod, things like that, and. Uh, Minecraft and this kind of works sort of like that at the moment I'm hoping it gets a little bit better as time goes on, but we'll see I was a little disappointed when they didn't uh, link up. All right, so we need any stones I thought these were stones. They are not that's just rocks. Do I have any stones? There we go That's a smart stack of 12 that ought to work. Hey, there we go. So let's go ahead and craft now You'll notice this is craft four uh, my understanding is the crafting of these things um is very similar to uh it's basically a multi-block structure if that makes sense so you're, you're basically putting something together um we got 16 that should give us enough to make the other thing too recipes and then we need the mixer now, i don't know what the mixer makes uh i haven't looked through that yet um there's a really cool website that my wife found uh, it's called boundlesscrafting.com uh, Boundless is one of those games that does have a lot of hidden recipes. Uh, it, I guess that makes it very similar to Minecraft in that aspect, that when you first start playing, uh, until you kind of get used to all the recipes, you, you don't really know what you can make and how to make it. So, BoundlessCrafting.com, uh, you go there, you click on crafting, and you can search all of the different crafting recipes, which makes it really, really nice and, uh, and convenient. Uh, one of the things I did want to show you guys, I forget how to pull it up. Uh, was it B? There it is. This is the outlines of our base. And I'm, I'm doing this because a lot of you are probably going to have skipped the first episode. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So right here you can see the, the dimensions of our base. I love being able to sprint with shift instead of having to... I almost doubled... Oh my god, it does it! They have Minecraft Sprint. Double tapping W is the same as pressing shift. Oh my god. Those savages. All right, well, this is the chunk borders. It's uh, eight by eight chunks. You can get more chunks by uh, going into the exchange. Oh, I have a few things to collect. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, snag those. Thank you very much. Uh, you can find them here in plots. Uh, your cubits give you access to more of them. Uh, this isn't a real world currency or anything like that, although I believe you can purchase them. Uh, cubits, I think, if you want to. I'm not sure. Yeah, right here. You can buy cubits if you want a shit ton of plots for, you know, whatever reason. I mean, that makes sense. Um, but for the most part, these these can be gotten from just playing the game, just leveling up. Uh, I have enough for 640 here, which as you can see is enough for 20 uh, of these. 20 is, take that number times eight, so that's 160 blocks. So that's that's a lot. That's a, that's a very large area. Um, now granted for some of you guys who want super mega bases, definitely not, but keep in mind, uh, you can work together with a group of people. So, you know, right now I'm level eight and I have enough for, you know, 160 blocks plus, uh, this two right here. Uh, if Kat was playing with me, she'd have the same thing, super pie, same thing. Now we've got, you know, almost a thousand chunks between, or well, a thousand blocks between us all. So it, it really does start to get bigger. And uh, I think it's gonna be one of those things that's not gonna be a big deal. Uh, one of the other things I did wanna show you guys is, uh, you'll notice up here, if you, I'm, I'm tracking around in the center of the screen, right here, up at the, the top, see that little house? That is our location. That is our place. You can see it says Pyromaniacs Beacon Private. Um, I believe, the little different dots up here in the top, I believe those are different civilizations. And I'm not sure if the white marks are mobs, NPCs, um, or other players. I know when I got onto the server, there were 16 people here. They don't have private servers yet. I think it's something that they're gonna work on, which will eventually probably make these cubit things not as demanding, because you know, you'd be able to set it up. Um, but this right here reminds me a lot of a chunk loader. It protects your base, right? So you drop this beacon down and nobody can build in your claimed chunks. Well, you can see right here, ours, uh, we, we put one block of fuel and it gave us almost a month. Well, it did, it gave us a whole month, four weeks of protection. So nobody can come and mess with our stuff for four weeks. 
that's a really long time. And to give you an idea to do that, you only need one piece of fuel here. So like for instance, if we decided we wanna stay here uh, for a little bit longer, let me show you the recipe for this just to give you guys an idea. Now keep in mind, this is closed beta. Um, this may change, but it's, it's literally 10 foliage. Craft that thing, um, it goes immediately in here. You get two per, um, we'll just come back over here. I'll just show you guys real quick. Cause I'm, I'm honestly not, whoops. I'm honestly not sure if it's just the first tick that does that or not. Um, only three hours and 12 minutes would be added, wasting too much fuel. Okay, so each one of these blocks apparently gives you a bite, basically a month. So we set this up three hours ago. So you can see right here, three weeks, uh, six days, 20 hours, 46 minutes. So one of these blocks is gonna kick us up back to the four week mark. So that's as much fuel as they'll let us have in there. So later on, we'll wanna add more fuel to this, which will uh, set it up. I'm assuming maybe as the plot uh, grows, then we'll have access to more stuff. So what do I mean by plot grows? Well, right here, um, you can see the pyros, pyromaniacs right here. You can see our total prestige is 596. Now, the way you increase prestige is basically just building on your plot. So right here, we're at 596. Ooh. Come over here real quick. Let's grab this content out. There we go. We have our extractor. Let's open that up. Put it over here. We're at 596, right? Um, I guess we'll set our extractor temporarily right here. And there we go. So that is our extractor. So we were at 596. Did that change at all, I wonder? It did. Now we're up to, wow! Holy crap, dude. So just dropping that one machine almost doubled our, not quite, I mean, 596, technically you round up to 600, that would have been 1200, but you can see we, we gained basically an extra 470 points just for dropping this one machine. Now, keep in mind, we have another machine that's fixing to drop here in four minutes, and that's gonna allow us to, you know, do some more stuff and, and drastically rack this up. Now, why is this stuff important? Well, if you come down here, you can see lack of prestige. There's insufficient prestige between this beacon and its neighbors to form a settlement. 10,000 is required. Now, from my understanding, and keep in mind, I'm still new to this game, but basically we have a little settlement here. Um, let's say Timmy came and set up a settlement right next to me, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's awful close. Is it up in the sky? It's like right here. And it's not... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I get out? Nope. Um, shovel? No. There we go. There we are. I think there's a. Cr I think those are critters. Well, whatever it is is gone now. Okay, now it's over here. I don't see anything. I wonder if these are people, and I just can't see them yet. Because whatever this is 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 moving literally right by us. You can see it's whatever it is is, is standing over here now. So I I don't know if somebody's just checking me out and I can't see it. Because I don't see a critter running around unless my eyes are busted. Which is highly possible. Now our little area is private right now. I don't know if there's a way I can... Let's see, current. Uh, strangers may warp into this beacon. Uh, strangers cannot warp into this beacon. I'm okay with strangers warping in. Um, and I'm not able to do anything else yet. Anyways, back to this. Uh, you can see where it says settlement 10,000 is required. Well. If Timmy were to set up next to me, and let's say she had 200 points, and then let's say Super Pie set up next to me, and he was at 300 points, and then let's say Lax set up next to me, and he was 900 points. Well, it would sum all of those points up together, and then let's say I was at 8,000 points. Well, we could form a settlement there, and the good news is it would combine all of our prestige together uh, as long as we hit 10,000, and we would become a bigger town together. The bad news is I basically become, to some extent, the boss of their claims. Now, I don't know what the range on that is, and I don't know what, um, I, I don't know what the requirements are, so to speak. So, it might be one of those things that, like, it's, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> it might be one of those things where, you know, if, if you're within, like, 
four blocks, then you become part of the settlement. Or it could also be one of those things if you're within 50, 100 blocks, you become part of the settlement. Um, and I don't know how much control that ruling body has over you. So I don't know if he can just come in and control your stuff at that point or whatnot. I'm not sure. Oh, and for those of you guys wondering, this is a, it is a door. And I, I really do like the fact that uh, one click opens up the door. So the, the problem that we're running into, though, is right now this is private, so it's just me. Um, Cat can't play yet because the game's not for sale. Uh, as soon as I get the ability to get her in here, uh, we will start building uh, a town and uh, drastically increase. Because right now I'm building everything basically right here. Uh, when we get this new workbench done in 40 seconds, I'm going to plop it down. And I, I just kind of want to see how much that's going to do. Because uh, right now, let's see, 28 seconds going to refresh. We are at, uh, how much are we at? 1,066. We might be able to make a settlement without anybody else here. Well, we definitely will be able to make a settlement without anybody else here. Uh, the question just comes down to, you know, <coughs> excuse me, ease and, uh, you know, gathering resources and such. Because the more people that you have, the easier it will be to set up, you know, these resources. Unlike Eco, this game is definitely easier. It feels a lot more like Minecraft to me than Eco does. Um, but there, there's still a lot of work to do. And a, and a lot of, oh, that's third person. Okay. Where's my big ugly demon dude? Hey, what's up dogs, how y'all doing? I was hoping that was the map option. Um, places, so that's the only place we've got. Knowledge, that shows all the stuff I guess we've made. Exchange, uh, we do have one reward, might as well collect that. Um, one of the things I did wanna show you guys that's really kinda cool is the journal here. Uh, journal here, this shows you basically all of the different, um, think of these like achievements for Minecraft that you can do, and they're broken into different sections. So if you want to trade, you've got traders, you've got miner section, you've got gatherer section, explorer, um, crafter, builder, core, etc., etc. Um, you also have these feats, which I don't quite understand yet. Um, because it, it seems like I, I end up with most of them. Uh, so apparently I've already played for 1800 whatevers. So I don't know if that's seconds. I know it's not minutes because I haven't been on that long. Um, this was just, I guess, make... Oh, okay, so you had to do one tier core, another tier two core maybe? No? Yeah, th this was just earn a thousand experience and then you would get a hundred. This was just play for, I guess, 1800 seconds and then you get that. Um, this one right here is play boundless and travel to a world, one of five. So they want you to travel to five different worlds and they'll give you some coins. Um, those again are weekly and daily type setups. So you don't always have to abide by these if you don't want to. Um, you also have general feats down here where you can see your progress on basically every achievement in the game. Um, which is, which is really cool if you're that type of person that wants to go through and do those. Um, me, I'm, I'm going to be more interested in these type of setups. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this thing down. We should be able to do it now. Where was it? Right there. Was it there? Drag this over. And I believe this is another quad structure. And there we go. Oh, dude, that looks sick. Dude, that looks delicious down there. Looks like a big candy bat. I, I definitely approve of the candy bat. So it doesn't show us any items here, uh, either that we're capable of creating or maybe that are in the list, I'm not sure. Uh, this one right here though, as you can see, does have some items in it. Now we did just get a sackcloth, which is gonna be kind of nice because that's gonna allow us to make one. Uh, well, we're not gonna make a cog, even though I don't know what the cogs are, are good for. Um, we're gonna make a copper swift hammer but we're gonna need some more copper bars. I have the copper uh, ingredients done. We just simply need some materials in our furnace here to kind of kick things off. So this uh, unfortunately is not all that good of an item to cook with. Uh, you can see we're only getting a 0.4X speed boost as opposed to uh, soft coal will give us a 1.0 speed boost, I believe it is. Um, and I, I, I ugh, don't, wanna, don't wanna deal with that. For now, we, I know where some more coal is down here, but we haven't gotten it yet. We're also going to need some sticks. Now, sticks can be gotten from wood as well. Um, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do there. Perfect. 
So if we want some sticks, we are going to need some trunk. Uh, let's go ahead and get out here and chop some trees real quick. I do love the fact that W, double tab W leads to sprinting, which is kind of cool. So yeah, this, this is the first Minecraft-like. You, you may have heard of roguelikes. This I'm going to call a Minecraft-like that, that I've played that, that I actually enjoy. Um, I mean, that's the, uh, Eco was fun, but I, I guess my, my big issue with Eco was one, it was hard as hell. Uh, it was slow as hell. Required an absolute asinine amount of people to play unless you just tweaked the hell out of the server. Um, and they, they just, they had a very eco, like a, like an overwhelming eco thing going, like, you know, save the planet, all that stuff. You know, practically every time you logged in, you had the Captain Planet uh, theme song kicking off in the background. And, you know, I, I'm okay with, you know, that, if that's your, <clears throat> that is a cause you want to work for. But, I mean, if you're making a game, make a game. We, we don't necessarily need games on political or socioeconomical opinions, in my opinion. But then again, that's just my thoughts. Maybe, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have the, whoops, we have those. Let's make the sticks. That'll give us uh, plenty of those to make. Now we come over here. We need to get the couple pieces of, oh wow, we had 12. I didn't realize we had that many. Holy shit. We're going to be good then, for sure. All right, so we're going to make the hammer real quick. And then, let's say I wanted to make the axe. What am I missing for the axe? Another sackcloth and another glue. All right, so glue, we actually make over in this. I don't need this anymore, so we're going to pull these out. Um, glue, I actually have just enough to make. Let's go ahead and put... Oh wow, you can see the fuel, I guess, is ticking back down, and I guess it's making that bar because the bar has automatically been, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, the item was consumed upon starting the process here. So my question is, is this fuel consuming down? I can't tell. I believe it is. I'm trying to see if it's moving but it's moving so imperceptibly. Uh, it does look like it is moving, although very, very slightly, which is kind of cool. That means uh, that'll that'll keep running. So eventually, when I have more people and there's more stuff that we can do, um, we're gonna have a storage house, we're gonna have kind of a tech house, and then probably our crafting bench and furnace house. Um, we might put the crafting bench in with the furnaces, it just kind of depends on uh, where we end up. Uh, okay, you can see we're now crafting the glue. I think. More fuel required. Okay, so don't have enough fuel to do that. Ah, so it drained all the way out. Interesting. So yeah, I, I don't quite understand all the furnaces and stuff yet. I was a little bummed that it seems like there is no... Uh, mechanic here. I was hoping to see because I mean, if you look up here, you can see it. It, it looks like a furnace. You know, you're, you're smelting stuff. But when I when you look down here, there's there's no effect that you can see, um, which I, I found kind of disappointing. That's another question I have. Um, can you hold shift and walk over the edge, or do you fall? You fall. Well, that's a bummer. In uh, in Minecraft, especially if you were building up. You could hold shift and that would keep you from falling over the edge. Um, this game may have something like that. It may just be on a different hotkey. So I'm not going to not going to slam it yet. All right. So is our hammer made? It is. I want to see how good this is. Now, one of the other really nice things that this game has, um, you'll notice I have a hammer here. That's a wooden hammer and I have a hammer here. It's a swift hammer um, in most games. You can't combine these in any way, shape, or form in this one. You can stack, well, usually you can stack them up. Oh, it's because we're in the workbench. I think. Damn it. Damn it, Bobby. There we go. Inventory. Okay. Well, maybe you can't, maybe they have to be like-minded stuff. That's kind of interesting. Well, you can see right here, I have a wooden shovel and a stone shovel. So those two things are in the same one. You can tell because we've got a little uh, smart stack here. 
it may not let me do that with these two because they're different they're that they're, they're like th this one says swift so there might be a differentiation here um and i can't combine them which is a bummer but uh, for instance the wooden one can be combined with a um iron one so I'm, I'm a little confused on why this one can't but i'm i'm not gonna whine and complain too much all right let's head back down because we want to i think it's right over here i just want to see how this holds up with some of the other stuff of the other pickaxes we were using and i don't want to get too deep in here because we were starting to bump into some critters and i don't want to deal with critters right now i just want to just want to see how awesome the pickaxe is Oh boy. Dude, this place is, is scary looking. Whoa! Okay, there is some copper right there. So what we're gonna do is this. Holy cow, this is fast. Much faster. And I, I think this is the reason why the hammer doesn't stack with the other one, is because this is a quote unquote swift hammer. So it, it does mine quicker. Uh, the speed with which this one mines that the other one doesn't is, is, is pretty huge. That's a pretty big difference. Now you're gonna notice in the bottom center of the screen, there's a little energy meter that's now filling up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break this even though it's not designed to do it. There we go. All right, let's do this. Hopefully that one, okay, it's got solid and everything. Anyways, that thing down the bottom is our energy. Uh, I think if I press this, we can put cherries here, which is unfortunately going to turn our, you're not gonna be able to see me eat these cherries, but watch the health bar down there. You see we just increased it a bit by eating the cherry and a little bit more. That's not a health bar. I don't know why I called it that energy bar. Um, and once we get over a certain part, which I believe is that little green icon, um, it does, let's put this back on, it does seem to give you some kind of boost. I don't know what that boost is, but that's, that's what that noise was, is it giving me that boost. Man, I really want to hold shift here so I don't fall off the, uh, the map. Uh, no, we want this one. Nope, this one. There we go. Sorry, I wanted to clear that out. Now, the other nice thing about this game is it seems if you are even remotely close to the item when you break it, that it will jump in your inventory. It doesn't seem to be 100% though, because if it's a little too far away, it will drop. That one I think I got. I, I think as long as it's within a block, it ends up in your inventory. But if it's more than a block away, <coughs> sorry for the cough all the time, guys. Um, if it's more than a block away, then you don't seem to get credit for it. So that, that seems to be roughly how it works. Uh, really hope, okay, there's the chunk border. You can actually see that line coming through the map. I think we're kind of back in the area, I hope. Oh God, I think I got lost. We're gonna surface. Whoa, whoa, was that a person? I believe we are underneath our base loosely. Our base is like right over here. So we're just we're just gonna surface right here. Doing the standard Minecraft uh, one block up dig. I, uh, I got kind of kind of got lost now you can use um, torches and other things to you know leave behind a pathway so you know where you're going the problem with that is torches are not cheap at least not at the current time you do need flint you can see I've gotten I think one piece of flint here okay this is clay soil so switching to that okay, I can't see. Let's 
Kind of hoping we'd be able to see up soon. There we go. Okay. Pretty. There we go. Where are we compared to base? So right over here is where we're at now. Something else is right over here. We have our base right there. We're gonna go take a look and see what this is. Cause I have to be able to find my base again. I am curious what this is. And I have to be careful because with somebody this close to me, they could theoretically take over our base if we're not careful by claiming their own. But it, it's starting to seem like this is a much further distance away than I thought it was going to be. We'll see. We can kind of take a look at some... Oh, God. Oh, God. Nothing like a little just random hole in the ground to kind of trap me. Um. Oh, hello. Did I lose him? No, I guess they're over here now. Uh, and there is no PvP at the moment. Uh, it's something... Oh, is that water? Ah, oh, sick looking. I haven't seen water. I was really hoping to find this person's base. Give me a second, I'm gonna run over this direction. And once I find their base, we'll take a look. So I found him. He's below me. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can actually get down to him because he's, he's, I think he's underground. But you can see the, uh, I guess he's got his little town over here. Which is, I like the little uh, pathway he's got here. Let's get our little torch out, there we go. I like this block here, this is badass looking. Um, this is absolutely hideous though, as a bait. This is like, what the hell, man? It's almost like he just dug everything out and is just spamming blocks to try and get, um, what do you call it? Like he's trying to get, uh, is that his door? Can I open it? Restricted land. Okay, so I, I can't get inside his base. Does he have any holes up top I can come in and look at? That's a real shame because I'd love to come in and take a look, but um, if he's got it locked down, I can't come in. Yeah. Yeah, Lovak owns the base, and Lovak is right over there. I did want to go in and take a look, but I guess he's got it restricted, so I can't. You can see he's down below me. I don't know how deep he is. But he's uh, he's got a pretty decent sized chunk area here. Uh, like I said, I'm just a little disappointed that there's literally nothing to it though. I was kind of hoping maybe he'd missed a spot and we could kind of sneak in. I mean, I don't want to do any damage to his base. I don't think I can even if I wanted to, but I, I would like to look at it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this guy's attention and see if I can see his base. All right, well, oh, he, hey, oh, ah, I got in. Wow. Dude has bukus of store. Holy crap, all the crafting tables. Extractors. Jesus, so this is just like a giant factory, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. What is this? Guess that's a key of some kind? Huh. These are cool, man. I gotta figure out what these... Oh, he's got power running. Look at the top, there's like a laser beam. Oh, that's sick, what does that... What does that do? Spark generator. So he's generating power, which is going to him, so he doesn't have to use freaking coal and stuff. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. That is very, very cool. 
I am very much looking forward to uh, to get there. Dude, this guy's got some serious freaking. Oh my god. Dude has been busy as hell. Holy shit. And look at that. Look at the water. It's Minecraft water. Does it push you? Oh, sad face. The water does not seem to push you. Much disappoint. Wow. Wow, this dude is... I mean, his base may currently be on the outside a little bit on the ugly side. But the dude has got some serious machines going. He's got some... He's got some, some serious impact on the world that he's been working. Uh, you can see all the different tools he's got up here, which are kind of cool. And I have no idea what these blocks are. This is awesome. This is awesome. I am looking forward. I wonder if there's like ore duplication and triplication and all that stuff. I guess we'll have to find out. This is, this is very awesome. Looking forward to it. Well, this kind of shows you guys where we're going to be heading over the next couple weeks. Obviously, our little setup, we're going to have different uh, different building set up for each individual structure. So we're not going to just cram everything into one giant, you know, oblong square box. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Well, let me know what you guys think about the game so far. Are you excited about it as I am? Hopefully you are. If so, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Read them as always. Uh, love to hear from you guys, what you guys are looking forward to, what you guys think about the game, etc, etc. As always, if you like this video, please slap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.